Do you want to live in paradise? in a cottage, a condo, or perhaps a home on a canal? Well, today we are gonna talk about the beautiful, luxurious, private island of Longboat Key. So let's get started. I'm Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Experts. If you find my videos helpful, I'd love it if you would subscribe, hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos, and let me know how I can be of help. Today we are out at beautiful Longboat Key, and right now we're at the north end of Longboat Key. This is, to me, the most charming part of the key, and I love this area. You know what, this reminds me of when you go to your grandmother's house back in the day, and all these charming little bungalows and cottages. And the neighborhood still has this feel of, you're gonna know your neighbor, you're gonna pop over and ask for a cup of milk or sugar when you're baking. However, there's also a lot of new construction going on in this area, so it's the perfect blend of old and new. On Longboat Key, it is really private and remote. To get on or off the island, you have to go through other islands. To the north, you would go through Anna Marie Island, and to the south, it would be Lido Key. So another reason this part is so charming is that you are able to kayak, fish, paddleboard, everything right here locally is off the docks. And if you wanna to go to the beach, you just have to cross Gulf of Mexico Drive and head over to Whitney Beach. In Longboat, part of the reason it's so private is there's only 11 beach access points with just over 300 parking spaces. So as you can see, it never is going to be very crowded on any of parts of Longboat Key. Another reason I love this north part of Longboat Key is some of my favorite restaurants in the area are located out here. When my family and friends come to visit, we always have to take a drive out here and have dinner at shore or a cocktail at Mar Vista. Watching the boats come in, the water birds flying in and out, and also looking across to Sarasota and watching the city come to life at night is just a breathtaking view. Now, although some of these homes out here are a little smaller, nothing... <laughs> Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Although some of these homes are smaller on Longboat Key, nothing comes cheaply. These homes will start at a million dollars and go up from there. And if you're looking for a new home on the north end of Longboat Key, expect to be closer to the two million dollar mark. Moving on to the center part of Longboat Key. This is the town center area. This is gonna be a little bit more populated, a little bit more going on. And we have here our Publix grocery store, banks, CVS, public library, and a little bit more shopping. Also in this area, right behind our gates over here, are, is going to be Bay Isles. Bay Isles is a community along the harbor side of Longboat Key, and it features 19 different little subdivisions with condos, townhomes, and single family homes. And when you're behind the gates of Bay Isles, it again is a little bit pricey where condos are gonna start around 800,000 and go up from there. And if you're looking for a single family home behind the gates of Bay Isles, it's going to start at 2 million and go up from there. Now, all residents of Bay Isles get to enjoy a private beach in the Gulf of Mexico. At the beach, you will find an attendant, beach chairs, beach volleyball, locker rooms, grills, and all the things you need for a great day out on the beach. Now, of course, being on the harbor side, you can't just step out your door and be on the sand, but at the private club, it's the perfect place to watch sunset every night. Longboat Key is home to 7,500 year-round residents, but during season, that number can easily swell to over 30,000 people. So as you can see, it could get a little crowded in this area on the roadways during season, but many of the residents have found there's no need to ever leave the island as there's so many activities to partake in, such as tennis, which Longboat Key is known for great tennis courts and clubs, pickleball, which everyone is playing. And again, there's many, many options of courts to find to play pickleball. And then we have 45 holes of beautiful golf. The Longboat Key Club owns these golf courses and it is private. If you wanna play one of the courses, you wanna make sure you have friends that belong to the Longboat Key Club. So if tennis or pickleball isn't your thing though, and biking might be more up your alley, we find 
bikers love living out here on Longboat Key. The 12 mile stretch of Longboat Key is perfect to get out and cycle any day of the week. Now we're at the south end of Longboat Key. Before I tell you a little bit more about the south end of Longboat Key though, I'd love to hear your feedback. Are you familiar with Longboat Key? Have you considered moving to the area? I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Longboat Key South End is definitely the more populated part of the key. Part of the reason for that is there's more land at this end, but also it's very convenient to get off island and enjoy shopping out at St. Armand's Circle. There's many, many homes out in this area that have canal front. So who needs a marina when you can have your boat in your backyard and then just jump on the boat at the end of the day and get out into the harbor and enjoy. Now homes along uh, any of these canals were originally built in the 1980s and 90s. However, as you can see, we have many, many modern marvels along here. Homes in this area are definitely gonna start 1.5 million and go up from there. On Longboat Key, this key is lined with condos, all sizes and shapes of condo, but no more so than here behind the gates of the Longboat Key Club. As you can see, there's beautiful condos and all of them are going to have breathtaking views. If you want a view of the Gulf, expect to start in the $1.5 million for a condo and going up from there. Also here in the south part of Longboat Key is the most expensive real estate in all of our area. Formerly known as Millionaire Row, some of these beautiful homes have been rebuilt a number of times. And homes out here are now being sold for 10, 15, 20 million dollars. So you can see this gorgeous area. Some of the perks on the south side of Longboat Key do include the other extension of the Longboat Key golf course. Here, this is the golf side. And these golf courses are beautiful. If you're a golf enthusiast at all, you have to play these courses. A few other things people really enjoy are the Chart House restaurant and Dry Dock. Both have amazing views, not to mention fresh seafood catches every single day. So which is your favorite part? The North, Town Center, or South Longboat Key? Are you ready to call Longboat home your own, whether for a vacation residence or year round? Let me know, give me a call. I really appreciate you watching. And if you want more information on beach homes or beach communities, check out this video next. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.